Saturday, 7th of November. Join me on another hunt. Um, I'm popping down to the beach where we find lots of modern coinage because we had to, three to four days of really bad high winds and stormy weather during the week. Um, so I thought that maybe the beach would be stirred up a bit. So I thought it would be an ideal opportunity to come down, do a bit of coin shooting and see what we can find. Tide's just on its way out. Uh, it's about quarter past six in the morning at the moment. Not a soul about, just me as usual, which is great. So let me get wandering, get up to where we need to go, get set up, and hopefully I'll be back with a first target. That's not a brilliant sign because that is normally like the blocks further up and completely unburied. So it looks like about a foot to two foot of sand has been chucked up on the beach, which could bring some new targets in, but it means I may have to go up higher. Otherwise, I'll, uh, everything will be buried. But we'll start gridding the beach and find out roughly where the targets are, then we'll give it a go. It's uh, seven degrees as well, so there's no wind at all. It's just really still, which is great. And it's not cold either, so even more of a bonus. Well, I'm gridding up and down the beach and uh, I'm down on the wet stuff. And uh, in the scoop, right at the front there, just had a very green old 20 pence so I am now going to do a live spiral out from here and uh, see if there's anything here I've been going up and down at the uh, top of the beach and uh, nothing there I also brought myself today um, or sorry yesterday if I can find them of these little white chocolate mice. Every time I get a coin, I'm having one of the white mice. I don't know if you remember these when you were kids. God, they're gorgeous. They're very Moorish. Right, so one coin, one mouse. Right, on we go. Right, so I've started my spiral, as you can see there. I've got round to here, one ring out, and I've got a target on the edge here somewhere. Here. Which is still in it. Right, it's out. He says. It's a nice signal. Saying it's on the edge here. Right, got it in the scoop. Oh, it's that. What the hell's that? It's a draw handle. Okay. I'm assuming it's that. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll get that in the bag. And uh, we'll carry on from there. I never <laughs> expected to find a draw handle on the beach. I should give that a brush off. So yeah, that's um, that's what we got. Okay, well we continue with the spiral and uh, see if there's any other targets laying about. Doesn't take long with the spiraling technique. We've got another target there. This sounds a cracker. Moved it. Right, that's got it. Saying it's here. Ah, uh, I can see it. It's a big bit of aluminium. Right on the end of the scoop there. Not what we wanted. Okay, well, we'll continue around. Might be some targets lower down the beach in the spiral because the lighter stuff normally gets washed up the top. Can we go? Well, that's how big the spiral's got so far. We've got another target here. Somewhere. Let me 
this lovely soft sand. Still in there. Out. That's in the scoop. Not seeing anything at the moment. Oh, where is it there? What is that? I don't know whether that was once a coin or not. Oh, it's a ring pool covered in rubbish. Oh well. But all of these targets are all within this spiral area. And if you just go for a coin and you move on and go on to the next target, you miss them. So anyway, let me get me a bit of tissue. Ugh. Clean that up a bit, I'll have a pocket full of rubbish. Right, that's it. Okay, on to the next. Right, back up on the dry stuff, and I've got a nice coin-like signal here. Let's hope it is one. No, missed it. Got it. Ah, uh, looks like that. No, it's not a coin. It's a bleeding great piece of metal. Right, on we go. And that's why you always bring spare batteries. So you're going to change, because I've just gone my batteries, have gone flat, but I'm going to change these, have a quick cuppa. Get on, I'm going to head on to this dry stuff now. Do some bits on here. I wasn't finding too much down on the wet. So we'll move up here and see we do this vast expanse here. Let me just get my batteries in. Considering it's November, and we're in lockdown, what a great morning. Right, let me get this T, the anti-freeze and metal detecting down there and we'll continue on. But, gorgeous morning and I'm going to start, as I say, working down there. Well, I've been gridding up and down the beach here and then the sand changes to just where the wash-up is. And there's lots of pebbles uh, all thrown up here, as you can see. And I, I got a target and just add a two pence piece. So I'm wondering with a rule of coins now, they're in this bit here. So we will concentrate on here for a bit, I think. I haven't quite found where they are, but then I was just down on that wet stuff and we had the 20, and then I've had the two here. So it could be they're not up on the dry. They've all been... So right, we'll concentrate on this pebbly bit and uh, we'll... Well, you wouldn't credit it, my GoPro battery just went flat. And so I've had my detector batteries and my GoPro battery go flat this morning. Ah, oh, one of them mornings. But anyway, what I was trying to say is we'll concentrate along here, see if we can whittle some coins out. Right, let me get on with it. Well, looks like the theory's paying off. I just went to break dirt on a target. Can you see what I can see just laying on the top there? It's a one penny. So it would appear that there are coins in amongst these rocks. So... We will slow down, have a good go along here, see if we can pull out some more targets, right? Theory seems to be working. Well, I just had a target out of the hole there. I flipped it out and I thought, ah, it's a piece of green uh, plastic coated wire. But if you look slightly there, it's a coin. And that has escaped. That is a 10 pence piece. So that's good, we'll bung that in the pot. We'll continue along. So we're starting to sort of get the coins, so we're on them. Right, on we go. Right, I've got a target, but it sounds like it could potentially be a bottle top. But we'll dig it. Oh, I didn't do that very well, did I? It might be in there. Ah, 
that's a great piece of foil would you credit it it's always the same on life dig i actually take my gloves off because it's so hot right on we go sometimes when you have a hunch roll with it <laughs> Another 10 pence piece. So this is working well. Coming on nicely. Right, on to the next target. Do a live dig next. Right, I kicked what I thought was hot rock out of the way. We've still got a target here, so let's have a Here somewhere. There we are, Coy. Although no idea what that is. Might be a penny. Not sure. All right. Next target. On we go. Coin, green one, and right in the scoop. Ah. Don't know what that is, probably a half penny. Okay, that's good, that's an older one. That'll be 70s. So, all right, chuck that in. Right, on we go. Right, let's see what we got here. Shifted it already. Is that it? Yeah, 2p. <sighs> yep, nice 2p. That'll do. Right, get that in the pot. We're on we go. This is working out really well. Right, another target. Moved it. Oh, some sort of unusual box top, that one. Martini Rosse. Well, oh, there you go. Right, on we go. Right, whatever it is, it's in the scoop. And it's a Corona bottle top. They're very apt with what's going on. Right, let's go for it. Well, we're in again, it looks like. And up for 10p. So this seems to be the day of 10p's at the moment. But I'm not complaining, we will take them. We're getting a uh, nice little pot of coins. Right, let's continue on to the next one. Right, I've got another one here. Quite a sharp signal. Where's well, that? I'm not seeing anything there. Looks like a coin. It's not that brick, is it? actually that. Must have a lump of conga or metal in it, but I'm not taking that back. Right, on we go. We found a piece of concrete. Great. Well, at the little hole there, I've just knocked out that. I think... I think that's, yeah, that's a five pence. That's cool. Right, on we go. Racking up. Well, I think bending the needle here. But I don't. Well, it's out. I 
Right, saying it's here by these rocks. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Oh, golden nugget. Take them all the time. Lovely jubbly. Look at that. Let me get that in the sun. Oh, purest gold. Mm. <laughs> well, that was pretty deep. Out of there, I've just had. Ah, another ten pence piece. Well, I'll never. Right, I'm going to search around here a bit more because I'm not sure. There's not some more targets. Right, we'll carry on. Well, as you know, I was going to give myself some of these uh, white mice every time I found a coin. I've got four white mice in the bag, but I've got more coins in the uh, pot. So I'm going to sit here and have those. Finish this. Then I'm heading home. So anyway, that's it. I'll see you back for the roundup. Right, well, I'm going to finish my tea. Here's our booty for today. Nice little pouch full of coins there. So they're quite good. I'll do the round up and show you all what we got. But those uh, little rocks there. So obviously what Bakai's been doing is coming in and then flipping the coins up onto the top there in where the stones and things are and leaving them there. So it pays to try different areas of the beach and you might look at that and think, oh, I'm not digging in there. That'd be a bit hard going. But that was where the coins were today and that's you know you've got to go up and down the beach until you find a coin and then just keep going until you eke out where the coins are and that's where you dig right let me get this tea down me and then oh, i've got a nice wander all the way back down there to the very far end of the beach where i'm parked but it's a gorgeous gorgeous morning i'm glad i came out and it's saturday today um I've got to do some work again on my car today. I've got my wheel bearings to do at the back today, but I didn't fail my test on them. They're just a bit noisy, so I'm going to do them. So hopefully I can get those done today, and I'll be back out again tomorrow. But I don't know where to go tomorrow. I don't know to go a bit further afield. Or we'll have to come back down here. Um, we'll see how it goes. But... Uh, it's meant to be another nice day. We've got a nice patch of uh, good weather. Well, uh, as good as it can be for the next few days. So I'm going to make the most of that. Right, let's get marching. Not a soul in the uh, caravan park. They've all been shut down, so no one can come down while we're in lockdown. So that's interesting. A few dog walkers about today, but not many definitely quieter the roads are a lot quieter as well um, I've got to uh, nip back now I've got to head off to the local post office because I did delivery during the week but I was actually at work so it goes back to the main mailing depot which is a pain but I've got to go and get it um, and then as I say a bit of work on the car um, but I can't plan the rest of my day because I don't know how long that's going to take I've got both rear wheel bearing to replace their lot hub units so they're only four bolts which is the easy bit it's then getting them out of the recess they're in and fitting the new ones but we'll get there right i should get walking <laughs> 